Play for K. Broughton High School holding its annual fundraiser for the K Yao Cancer Fund. And Kate Rogerson is there. She joins us live. Over at Broughton in the gym right now. Kate, this is a really big class project, but it makes a big difference for women fighting cancer. Broughton High School is consistently one of the top Play for K fundraising schools nationwide. Their goal for 2023 was to raise $12,500, and I can tell you they've crushed that number out of the water. It's not even 530. Both the girls and boys varsity teams have not taken the court yet, and they've raised over $15,000 for women's cancer research. The sixth annual Play for K event has been in the making for about two months now. It's put together by a sports marketing class here at the school. Students are responsible for establishing relationships with businesses and different partners in the community to collect donations for a silent auction. While the Play for K event is a learning experience, students tell me that giving back has been the best part. I personally have known people who have either survived cancer or passed away from cancer and it's just a really great thing to know that something that I've done is going to help give back to the research that might help them or other people um, in their situation. It's just crazy to think how people from all around Raleigh, North Carolina just want to help out to support the KO Cancer Fund. Now, Kay Yao once said, when life kicks you, let it kick you forward. It's been nearly 14 years since she lost her battle with cancer, and I can tell you that her effect is still felt on the basketball court and beyond. In Raleigh, Kate Rogerson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. It's a great cause, a great way to celebrate Kay Yao's legacy, and uh, Lauren and I came up with an idea for maybe next year's T-shirt, mm -hmm. brought in bringing it for cancer research <laughs> right put that on it's already brought in <laughs> okay right. thank you okay, thanks.